competition did sort of get a, a negative connotation for a long time that it, you know, it was unfair and that it made kids feel poorly about themselves. We sort of got to that phase where everybody gets a ribbon and everybody gets a trophy or a medal. On the double whistle, ready? Life is competitive. I mean, when you're applying for jobs, when you're applying to get into colleges, you're competing against other kids and, and other people who want that same job as you. Hopefully you're putting your best foot forward and doing everything that you can do to win that job, win that place in school. That's life. You learn more when you lose, bottom line. I'm Doug Baker, PE teacher at Renaissance Magnet School in Castle Rock, Colorado. I teach uh, tumbling, I teach archery, rock climbing. I love football, basketball, baseball, all those sports are great, but there are so many opportunities for kids to do that stuff outside in their community. I'm looking for more lifetime sports. What can I do for the rest of my life to stay physically fit? Cup stacking is a lifetime sport. I am a high school wrestling coach at Douglas County High School here in Castle Rock. I was a, a tennis coach for a few years as well. Because sports stacking was getting so popular, I actually decided to give up that coaching to start uh, a sports stacking club team. One of the great things about sports stacking is the best kid doesn't always win. I like that anybody can be good at it, um, from the best athlete in the school to someone who never considered themselves to be an athlete. I came across sports stacking when my principal came in and said, you need to use the gym. Today you're gonna have to teach in the cafeteria. So I was very limited in what I could do, so I started to scramble that morning. So I'd go back to my storage closet, I'd come across some cups, and it was a great day, even though I was stuffed down in the cafeteria for the day, and I couldn't believe not only how much I enjoyed it, but how engaged and excited the kids were. The group order fell into my lap because our kindergarten teacher here was really hooked with sports stacking as well. And she came to me and said, uh, we should do a group order. It helps our school out and, and we can get more stuff here. I probably received 20 to 30 sets of cups, easily a classroom set, and I've almost built up an entire classroom set of mats and timers as well from my group orders. I mean, 10% back from everything that we do is, is huge. In today's age where budgets constantly get cut and you need to find creative ways to get more equipment for yourself, there's no better way and you can't go wrong. I'm never going to say no to free equipment. Give it a chance. You never know what's going to happen in your school and to see the excitement and the growth in your kids almost instantly is very rewarding. I love it. I, I can't believe how much fun it still is 10 years later. It's amazing.